In this video, we will discuss Guideline Directed Medical Therapy or GDMT for heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. You will learn the risks of heart failure, the benefits and process of starting medication therapy. We will also introduce the heart failure medication score that is displayed on the Engage HF mobile application dashboard. 30 years ago, before effective medications were available, patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction had over a 50% risk of dying in the next five years. Most patients were frequently hospitalized due to their heart. Fortunately, we now have a combination of effective medicines that can stop the progression of the disease and even make the heart stronger. Your heart's ejection fraction can increase and even go back to its prior level. Even if your heart does not get stronger, these medicines can still help you feel better and live longer. There is not necessarily a single effective medicine for a given person. Instead, four different types of medicine work together to reduce risk. The four classes or types of GDMT medications include 1. Beta blockers 2. Renin-angiotensin system inhibitors that include ACE inhibitors, ARBs, and Secubitrol valsartan 3. Mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists 4. SGLT2 inhibitors Each medication class is discussed separately in another video. Each type of medication on its own has been shown to lower the risk of death for patients with heart failure. In combination, these four drugs are estimated to lower the risk of death by over 70%. They also help people feel better and be able to do more activities. A major goal of heart failure treatment is to take the best possible combination of medicines for you. Different clinicians have different approaches for starting and changing the medicines. Though the order may vary, getting on these medicines early is important in lowering your risk of hospitalization or death. After you start taking these four classes of medications, your clinical team will try to increase the dose of your medicine over time. This is because there is a gold dose that has been shown to offer the most benefit to heart failure patients. Heart failure medications can be safely adjusted by your care team every one to two weeks. With each adjustment, your clinical team will ask you to monitor your blood pressure, heart rate, symptoms and, often, labs. If you experience side effects do not stop your medication and reach out to your clinical team for their recommendations. Some patients will not tolerate getting to the goal medication dose because of side effects. That's okay. These patients will still have benefit at a lower dose. The Engage HF app includes a personalized heart failure med score to help you track where there are opportunities to improve your medicines. This score ranges from 0 to 100 with 100 indicating you are on the best possible treatment for your heart failure with the four medication classes discussed before. A score of 50 means there is a lot of opportunity to lower your risk by working with your care team to increase your medications. The med score rewards points for being on a given medication class and additional points for being on a higher dose. If someone cannot take a given medication due to a side effect, the score is not lowered. You can still reach a score of 100 when medication increasing is prevented by side effects. Loop diuretics, or water pills, are also important medicines for heart failure care for some patients. They do not help the heart get stronger but do help with fluid buildup and symptoms. These are discussed in another video. There are other medications sometimes used for heart failure that are not included in the Engage HF app including hydralazine, isosorbide dinitrate, Dijoxin, Ivabradine, Varisaguat, Heart Rhythm Medications, Amiodarone, Sotolol, Dofetilide, and Blood Thinners, Apixaban, Dabigatrin, Rivaroxaban, and Warfarin. There are also other important treatments for heart failure that are not medicines including Cardiac Rehabilitation, Cardiac Resynchronization Therapy, Implantable Cardiac Defibrillator, Atrial Fibrillation Ablation, coronary artery bypass surgery, and valve repair or replacement. These other medications and procedures should be discussed with your clinical team, especially if you continue to feel heart failure symptoms after you get on the best possible medications for you. The cost of these medicines depends on your insurance. Your clinical team can help you figure out the cost for you and discuss options with you. Heart failure is a severe condition, 
but we are fortunate that there are now effective medications that decrease the risks of bad outcomes and increase the chance of heart muscle recovery. The Engage HF app is designed to make it easier to get on the best combination of medicines that aim to help you live longer and healthier.